Hey guys, Sean Bean today, I want to share something that you can do right now to get some free scrolls. It might not be too many, but free scrolls are free scroll, so go get it, please. So I went on to Reddit today and saw that people were claiming you get 300 points for doing RTA placement. So I went to the new beginner account in 2021 and I did RTA placement. After the placement, I got nothing. Actually, I got 50 medals. That's about it. For that one win and that one achievement that i got but i got nothing but then after that i got placed in the very bottom ranking of summoners or and that's where the real rta medals start coming in at the bottom ranking nobody knows what they're doing i don't even know if i'm fighting a real player but i know that if i have any swift rune that is above 200 speed i can pretty much outspeed anybody which means if you have like a Spectra, a Tyrone, pretty much anything that can AoE control from turn 1 on a Swift Rune build, you can instantly lock the entire enemy team and destroy them with a Lauren, Bird, um, Raok combo very, very smoothly. So the entire process of doing a couple wings, winning and destroying the enemy team took me about 30 minutes. You can actually purposely lose when enemy has one unit left so that you get the achievement that you lose when enemy has one unit left that's like 50 medals you can do that another three times i think you get another 50. so it's very easy to get the medals and then buy scroll after that if you're one of those who can get to fighter three oh you're gonna get a lot and a lot of medals for free scroll maybe you can even buy a legendary scroll with the pieces in the shop so that was a pretty easy premium pack ish kind of deal but now I have an even better deal for you from our sponsor. Hey guys, Sean Bean. Today, video is sponsored by App Gallery from Huawei. It is like an app store, like the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. You can download apps just like any other app store from there. And there's going to be a great deal if you download Summoner's War from the App Gallery from Huawei. So first, you need to download the App Gallery. So there's a link down below in the video description. Use that link to download the App Gallery. Then in the App Gallery, you search the Huawei Mobile Services Core. You will need to download and install that app. After that, you need to make an account for the App Gallery, just like your App Store account. And then you can change the account region to Switzerland. Okay, you need to do that to enjoy the promo for Summoner's War. So this weekend and many weekend after this, don't worry, you will get a chance to get four coupon, four coupon from $2 to $26 to spend in Summoner's War. To claim the coupon, go to the link down in the description box below after you download the app gallery or you can go into app gallery and check out the campaign section for the crazy weekend discounts. After using the coupon, you can actually claim another 10% as cashback into your Huawei App Gallery account to use that points for further purchase. Don't forget to claim your Huawei points after you make your purchase, okay? Always claim the cashback. So for certain pack like the $5 pack, you actually get a 44% discount. I will have a text channel for this particular thing in my Discord server, I'll have people from Huawei App Gallery to answer your question if you need help with the promo, with the discount. So don't worry, the link for the App Gallery, the link for my Discord server will be all down below. So what are you waiting for? Download App Gallery and download Summoners from App Gallery right now to enjoy the promo that your boy got you. So let's see how far I can go with the beginner account runes and three unit on Swift Rune. I think that is probably the most important thing you need to know for anything below Fighter 1 and RTA because after you pass Fighter 1, I think that's where you fight real player. Not like I'm not treating Wolf Her right now, not a real player, but people who might know what they're doing. Like this is a Chiwu. This is a Velaju. Very crazy unit, but they might not even have runes on them. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Okay, we're gonna ban the immunity here because we have a lot of AoE control unit. He banned the Varad. If you have a Nat 5, people will probably ban your Nat 5. But yeah, people will probably ban your Nat 5 if you have a Nat 5, of course. So not sure if we can now speed this guy. My Spectra is around 240 speed in total. 
but he does have a speed lead. Oh, the Chi will move, but the rest of the team is really, really slow. So we just have to kill them a couple different times. So he's not going to use the strip because he wants to use it when I actually buff, which is a very good move. So, oh my god, that thing is doing some nasty damage. But because the Chi Wu is now, what do you call that? Slow debuff. We can actually take a lot of turn before he can actually do anything. So I'm going to buff Muti first because I do need that for protection against the dots, right? If I don't protect myself, that's going to be very, very scary. Here comes the Iris going for the AoE. Actually get the stun going. We're going to push back this guy. I don't want him to get a quick skill 2 on my face and that's going to hurt a lot. So right now I run out of immunity. She will take a turn, but that is not going to be a problem here. Oh my god, that is another despair stun. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting destroyed right now and I don't like that, okay? I don't like that a lot. I'm going to hit him so I don't get dots, but I'm at a very scary spot. Oh my god. We're going to hit him so that he doesn't revenge me. I'm going to cleanse the vert because I need a turn. Good Valent Prof for Fran right here. And we're going to take out that guy. I was originally going for the Vanessa, but it's, it's getting a little bit risky not dealing with that particular guy. So Vert Lauren will be probably the best combo for early game RTA for most player. If you want to get into RTA, your Vert Lauren is going to be your bread and butter. That is if you have no Nat 5, which I think it's going to be a lot of people with no Nat 5 or just shitty nat 5 for rta in general then fran lauren vert will be your bread and butter it provides protection turn cycling damage and all that good stuff Ooh, oh savannah very scary very very scary but a swift build spectra with that kind of base speed usually outspeed pretty much anything and if you put this kind of debuff on the enemy unit it's gonna cripple anything even a savannah Okay, we do our speed easily with everything. So seeing enemy nat 5 doesn't mean they are strong. Okay, don't worry too much. If you have okay runes, you're going to do just fine. My Fran has like 200 speed. My Vert has 80 speed bonus. So this guy is not even that fast. People don't have runes down here in like the lower rank. They just pick their random nat 5 and hope it's going to work. And if you know what you're doing, you're going to farm a lot of points while still being in the low rank because... If you know you're going to lose, just lose. It's totally cool. Just let the other guy win, get some points. You lose, you down rank a little bit, and then you start fighting again. Not only the Guardian player can farm RTA medals, you can farm some RTA medal for yourself as well. If you know what you are doing. Okay, let me try to kill this Camilla. I don't know if I can. I'm probably going to win this Miho, but I'm going to let him win. Okay, we're going to... Try to kill the Camilla and then let the Miho win so that I can get the, the medal for losing to one unit left. We're going to try to push back here. And that's about it. There's nothing you can do. This combo is prob probably going to lock down anything and everything. I'm going to hit the, the Miho here. So that we get some attack bar, some big damage on the Camilla maybe. No. Defense break. Oh, can't land a defense break, man. It's getting, it's getting late. It's getting late, buddy. I'm going to kill your Camilla and let you win. It's okay, dude. Take the win, and I'll take the points. He win the fight, we win the war. Did, did that make sense? I don't know. <laughs> so, we haven't seen anything here yet, but if you look at it here, unfortunate defeat. I need to lose one more time, and I need to win one more time to get 80 more medals. That is a lot of medals. I might want to win this game. Okay, he's got a speed lead booster. Very scary. We're going to ban a speed lead. Let's see how fast the Bastet is. Bastet has very shitty base speed. So if my Lauren outspeed, I think I should be okay. And once again, in low rank, there's no wheel runes. If you have a Tyrone, you have a Despair Lapis, whatever you have that is like decently fast, 200 speed to control the enemy turn one, you're going to win just fine. See, this guy is like super slow. And there's nothing to stop me from freezing his entire team and taking this easy victory. <laughs> so simple. So simple. And then you get yourself some free medals. Hell yeah.
So usually you ban a speed lead because speed lead give way too much advantage. This guy has so many water. I'm not sure if I can win though. We need to kill Fran somehow. Shit. <laughs> I'm in a little bit of a trouble here. So many nat 5, but no speed. We're gonna try to push them back. We're gonna try to take down the Fran quickly here. I'm gonna try to use the heal because I want the attack bar and because the Beth is going to heal block me. So keeping the heal is kind of meaningless, okay? So right now we're gonna try to push down the Beth. He got slow debuff, so we're gonna move just fine. I think I'm gonna try to finish the front here and then we're gonna take another turn. This is gonna get a little bit scared. Oh, I should've hit the Beth for easy crit, but okay. This is not good. The Beth with attack break might not be able to kill me. So the attack break is very, very crucial for your RTA from Spectra. I think Spectra is way too good, man. Okay, we're gonna try to put more backlash on the enemy. And now they're really slow. We are not slow, but we can't crit. Come on, Vert. Okay, one crit is more than enough. We're gonna try to focus down the damage dealer here, put more defense break. Come on, a good crit. Damn it. Come on, Vert. I know you can do this. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna push back the animal. His team is really slow. We're gonna boost more attack bar here. Can't lose. <laughs> Can't lose, man. Nat 5 doesn't mean anything, okay? Nat 5 means nothing when you have Swift Rune. In the early game, okay? Only in the early game. Nat 5 means absolutely nothing when you outspeed the enemy. Oh, we get to find a 1. What do we get here? We get 100. Wow, we get even more. Oh my god. That's so many. That is so, so many. What can I buy? I'm literally buying the entire shop. Okay? I'm gonna buy one more. We're gonna buy here again. Dude, we get so many. I'm buying everything here. <laughs> oh my god. If you get 800 in total, which I think I got like 500, 600 in total. If you get 800 in total, you can actually buy a legendary scroll. Fresh. 10 times here. Easily. Wow. That's crazy. Alright guys, that's it for the beginner account RTA video today. You can also get your medal, so go and do your RTA placement. This is not an advertisement for me to try and get more people to do RTA at all. I don't even know what you're talking about. But hey, free scrolls are free scroll and you should get it. You might get a new Nat 5. You will never know. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.